Hi everyone, this is Brad. So previously we took a look at how to assign ReadWorks and find different articles. So now what I'm going to do is this is looking at it as a student. So what they need to do is go ahead up, select the sign in if they have not already signed in uh, with their Google accounts. You can see that the article comes here and because I included the audio it'll be up here as well. And they can scroll down and read the story. Now a few things that come up. One, the questions can come up right here so they could read it if they'd like to. And you can see the option for the open-ended. You can also, while you're reading, I'll move this down a little so you can see, we can enlarge the text. So that's a nice feature to have. You could also go ahead in and select a paragraph. So you can see paragraph one, two. So if a student has a question, they can say, hey, in paragraph four, this happens. Another nice option is being able to scroll down while the student is reading and highlight that specific line. You can always take that off if you want, as well as take off the paragraphs. And then we can come over to the right. And now you can see that you'd have the questions as well as the story to the left. You can see the one thing is with the audio uh, right in here, it does kind of cover up a little bit. So um, just notice that you can just do that, move it down, and then it does come back down. So just, just so you know that that'll be there. Students can go through. Now I'm just going to go ahead through and just put in some answers. I have no idea what the correct answers are. And let's see what happens. So question number five, I'm just going to call this sample. I'm just going to enter that in. Students can enter it in, or you can choose to have them not do that. They can certainly go ahead in and submit it on a separate piece of paper. Now the students can go in, check out their results, and see how they did. I got a one out of four. They can't go in and change it, and it's not going to show them the correct answer either. We'll show them the article and the questions again. And then as the teacher, what you can do is go ahead in. I'm going to just refresh this, and you can select class results. So if I select class results, you can see the name of the student is to the left, which question they had correct. And if you'd like to, you can go ahead and grade the written response and you can see it's a 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, correct or incorrect. Let's go ahead and say that that is correct. Let's come back. Now you can see it's been graded and the overall average is a 40%. So there you go. If you have any questions, of course, you can always print and export this as well. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care.